Hi hey there folks, it's Shirley Young here from Hand Me by Shirley and welcome to my channel. I've come on today, I'm going to do some stamping. And I've got these adorable little Paddington stamps that I got from the craft stash. Um, I believe you could get papers and you could get other stamps to go with this, but I just got the one set of A5 stamps. And you could get papers, as they say, and elements to go with it. But I didn't get in there quick enough. So I've already pre-stamped my pieces that I'm going to use. I've got one more stamp to stamp, which is onto this little two inch and two and a quarter inch diameter black and white circle with the scalloped edge. And then I've cut all these other bits out here. I'm going to use, I'm going to colour in. And I've also got little black um, backing mat layers at the back. And I don't know where. There's one missing here. Mm -hmm, that's it. And let's see, I've got this, this one Paddington Bear since 1958, which I'm going to stamp into the little scalloped piece. I'm going to colour these in as well a bit. So, but before I do that, I'm going to make my own backing paper. So this card measures five by seven, and I've got this white piece which is about two sixteenths of an inch, two sixteenths of an inch shorter than the five by seven size. So I'm going to use the um bus to stamp and make a backing with the red bus which would be nice um so i'm just going to use make sure my card base over there um i've got some black memento ink so i'm just going to use that so if you're interested in buying this Paddington stamp set you should be able to find it on Craft Stash UK and that's where I got mine. So what I'm doing is I'm just stamping the boss into the back of, well onto this paper and this is going to be my backing paper. So I'm just kind of randomly stamping it over. I'm not doing it in any particular we I just want to have a bit of a background onto my where I put the elements that I've already pre-stamped and matte and layered out ready. Um, like that and I actually might just put the little aeroplane, this paper aeroplane. I might do a bit of that as well. Just take a smaller and I just think it's such a cute little set. I just something a wee bit different. And this was brought out when it was the Queen's Jubilee. Um, because obviously we know that Paddington had dinner or had tea with the Queen. Just fill that up. That's that. Now, while I'm doing some stamping, I'm just going to wipe this away because that's it. I'll just stamp out the round piece that I've got for the middle of this card. So, just get this. So, this bit is the Paddington beer piece, and it does fit in just. So, I'm just going to ink that up. Memento again. Excuse me, and then I'm just going to hover over. Hop it on. There we go. And that does just fit in there. Let's pop that to the side and pop our ink away. 
And right, so the next thing I want to do is just get some of these. I've got some um, stamping blends that I want to use um, for um, some of the stuff. So I've got some red here. So I'm going to do the bus just now in red. I don't want the I want the fine end tip. I'm just going to go over quickly. Perhaps this is something I should have done before I came on. Hmm. Because so you get the gist. I mean, you could leave this completely just as is, stamped as is, but I just thought it would blend itself nicely to the colour of the red bus. The London red bus. Let's do C when you visit London. Just so I can just go over that. What I'll do is I'll pop this off and I'll come back and I've coloured all the the pieces for the bus so I'll be back shortly. I have come back and I've done most of my colouring in now. I'm just finishing off this bus uh, topper in a lighter red than the other one. The other one's in a sort of deeper red colour. I've coloured all the elements. I've only coloured bits of them. I've not coloured them all in because I don't want it to be overpowered too much with all the red because there's quite a lot of red with the bus because I've chosen the bus as the backing part. So now we need to sort it onto our card um, base. So I don't know. Another piece of black. Maybe that will be big enough to be cover. So this piece here was, I said, two sixteenths shorter than five by seven. So I'm just going to cut a tiny bit of a border round again because I want to have a bit of a black border around all the pieces. So there we go, that will go on nicely and that will help it stand out easily. So let's just we're just gonna glue these all together now and then assemble the card. So just before I do that, I'm gonna wipe this my space clean. I'm just drying it with my sleeve. <laughs> Don't have anything else I can try it with at the minute. So I'm just gonna take some wet glue. And I'm just going to put this stamped design on to the black card. Just like so. Just should have a nice we border around the edge. There we go. Like that. And then I'm just going to add this to the card base. And 
So. Um, I will show you some of the stamps when I do the insert. So I'll just cut a bit for the insert to go into. And I can do that in a minute. Just need to cut a wee bit more off. So that's the right side. There we go. I can do that in a minute. So pop that to the side and just bring all these pieces back in. So that's the, I've, I've, I've coloured him with his blue jacket and his red um, hat. And as I say, this is a two inch diameter scalloped um, circle die that I had in my stash. And then I've used a two and a quarter for the black matte layer, so that's that one. And I've coloured in my suitcase. Now I'm just going to get the edge of a block here, and I'm just going to go around the edge of this because it's a bit beveled from where I've cut it with the trimmer. Just go around that, flatten that off. You could use your bone folder as well to do that. So this piece is one and a half by one and a half. And the black matte layer will be more than likely a sixteenth of an inch slightly bigger than that. There we go, that's that bit. And then we've got the lovely little um, paper aeroplane, which is cute. So that's one by one and a quarter, and the black layers a sixteenth of an inch bigger. There we go. And we've got Paddington who this piece is two by three. And then we've got our black matte layer, which will be a sixteenth of an inch slightly bigger. So one sixteen. There we go. And I've just Given him a brown nose and a red hat and a light blue bow tie. And then we have our bus, which is in white, red and grey, which is two by one and three quarters. The size of the stamped image. And as I say, that would be a sixteenth of an inch bigger. Right, so that's them all done and I'm going to pop them onto the front now and I'm going to use some, um, what do you call it, um, if they're not on the table actually, excuse me, I'm going to use some three dimensional pads to pop these up on. Right. So I'm just going to arrange them here. I, want, I definitely want this to go in the middle. So I'm just wanting to arrange these before I actually stick them on. Like so. So that's what I'm going to do with them. So I'll pop a couple on the back of this one here. Do three 
I'll put it in there. But so I'll just leave it the way that I've arranged it until I'm ready to pop them all down so I know how I'm doing it and how I'm keeping it. Pop that one just there. And then I think I'll put the Paddington there in the middle one in the down first and then I can well, maybe not because just leave that in the middle. So this one next put some dimensionals or foam pads um, on the back. I would put one at each corner and possibly one in the middle as well. Just one of that to go slightly under. Like that. And then this one, I can put four, one in each corner as well. Like so. I really like this set, it's so pretty, so pretty, it's so fun, I think it's so fun, yeah, it's so fun, so pretty. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, but I did, so let me just see if I can just pop it up here, I think. Yep, and then I can still have that, and this one, I'm just going to pop a couple of bits on. That and oh, get them around the right way. Just pop that one there like that, and then I'm just going to pop my middle part on. Now I'm going to do doubles because I want it to stand up a bit more than the others because they all sit on um, pads already. So I'm just going to do a double. Or two, take that off and that off, and then I'll do one more on the top, like that, and one more on the top of that, and that just makes it slightly higher than the others. Oh, I'll take it off ones I've already got it off. <laughs> Crazy. And then I'll see. There, let's try and get it into the middle a bit. So, pop and pop Paddington on the middle. Now, the last thing I want to do is my stamping on the inside. So, I've got a piece, and I don't think I've got another black piece I might have big enough for this inside. Mm, not quite. Let me just cut this down very slightly so that we can make this fit. So let's see. So if I pop that in, let's see what happens if I pop. Yeah, let's make this slightly smaller. So I'm just going to to trim this a bit. So this piece white card is Four and three quarters, so I'm going to trim it down to is it four and three? No, four and a half. I'm going to trim it down to four and a quarter, and trim it down to um, six and a quarter. So that will fit on now, and so we'll trim that down to four and a quarter for the black. just give us a nice black edge yep so that's our front so I'm pretty happy with that still got a few wee bits to add 
So I've got this piece here and I'm also going to stamp on it. So because I, we didn't really show you using the, the stamps, I'm just going to get this one out here where he's reading. And I'm going to pop that in on the corner here. And I'm going to get a block. up I'm going to use some red this time and colour it in red I'll leave the black away for the moment I'm just going to stamp this in the right hand corner bottom corner like that so it shows you how really nicely they do stamp and then I've got the wee plane which the paper airplane which I'm going to do as well I'm just going to stamp it up that side like so put one down there and I'll continue up the side That. and then that just leaves a space in the middle for a greeting um, so to the side as well and um, now I'm going to stick this on I'm going to stick this on with some tape pen and um, this tape pen is from craft or, uh, create and craft it's on their website so if you want that you can purchase that there you get usually get nine uh, not nine usually get six and then you can sometimes get an offer which is buy one get one free which you actually get 12 so it's a pretty good offer so anyway there we go pop that in and then if we bring our card back that inside with some wet glue oh. 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 and you should have a bit of a border around as well rounded as straight as you could then just pop it down there we go that's it and all I need to do is to add a few wee gems to finish off so I have some here in my little gem box Well, I find my pokey tool, which I don't have out. I usually do. Not all today. I just tidied it away when I was tidying up. Right. Let's see what we can pop on. Oh, I've got some of these nice blue. The blue, some of these wee blues. One there, one there, one there. Just going to put another couple on. What colour could we use? Let's use the light blue as well. Come on, it's stuck to my finger. one up there and the last one let's just pop on there okay so that's my video so I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have please let me know what you think of the card um I really do like these Paddington 
stamps and they're really nice they're very versatile there's lots of things you could do with them and um, so thanks for watching and please subscribe to see more videos like this thanks again bye for now